another Killer Planes video. The Killer Planes How To Series. Hi, Steve from Killer Planes. Hi, Steve from... Hi, Steve from Killer Planes. And I'm here today with a Dyna Mustang. And we're too lazy to put the wires all the way through and back in. So we're going to strip the servo into the wing by cutting wires and reattaching little bits of the new wire on the servo. So we'll show you how to do that. It's easy to do, fun, and it ends up looking like this. So, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to strip in a new servo. This one's broken for some mysterious reason. we got to replace it. I don't want to rerun the wire through the whole thing. So, I'm going to cut the wire here, put in a new servo by connecting it to the wires here. The big trick, don't cut these three wires in the same place. I'm going to cut one here, one here, one here, so that the cuts are about this far apart, so that only one wire joint is made at one place at any point in the wire, so that when you put it all back together, it's still nice and thin and it'll fit in the groove. So. We do it like this. I'm going to cut the brown one here. I'm going to cut the red one an inch down from that. And I'm going to cut the orange one another inch down from that. Alright, so now I have my three wires ending in three different places, as you can see right here. This one ends here, this one ends here, this one ends here. And then we're going to cut the wires on the other side the opposite way. The orange one is the longest, the brown one is the shortest, and we're going to hook them together and have no lumps. If you keep these spaces equal, you can do the same thing on the other side and it'll make a nice smooth package with no single parts of wires hanging out somewhere. So to equalize my parts, I'm going to cut this brown one a little bit. Right about there, I'd say. All right, and now we strip these three wires. This is very thin wire. You probably can strip it with your fingernails like this. Just pinch the plastic coating with a fingernail and pull. See how easy that is? All right, another reason for wanting to strip servos in is because a lot of replacement servos have leads about this long. They don't reach the plane. So you gotta strip it in anyways or have a plug somewhere in the middle of your wing, which I don't want. So here we go. Now we have this servo, it's gonna go here. This wire is going to go here, and this one is here. Now I'm going to mark the new wire where it's going to get cut according to the length of the old one. So I'm going to mark this new wire at the ends of the old one, and then add on a half an inch, right? So it's half an inch over, and then the red wire is going to get cut here, but a half an inch over, and the brown wire is going to get cut here, about a half an inch over. So there's my three lengths of wire that I need. All right, the whole thing, I'm gonna even add another eighth of an inch onto all of those. So the whole thing gets this long. There we are. I peel these wires apart. Now the white one is going to be the longest. In this case, white matches up with orange and black matches up with brown. And red, of course, matches up with red. Red is a universal color that's loved by all. Okay, so there are those. Black one's the shortest, white one's the longest. These are marked already, so I'm gonna cut the red one here. A bit over from my mark, like I did with the white one. And the black one here, a bit over from the mark. So there we are. Now I have my three wires cut at different lengths and my three matching wires cut at the opposite different lengths. Let's try the fingernail pinch. Okay, that works fine with these. Fingernail pinch it is. Beautiful fingernail pinch. So you might even say don't try to do anything with real tools stripping these wires. Just do it with your fingernails. <laughs> so here's the whole point when you lay your wires out for the thing before you're set up. The plastic wants to meet the plastic. See that? Black meets the brown. 
red meets the red, white meets the white, orange, and that way it's going to be nice and smooth when you fasten it together. All right, so we start off by simply matching the ends of the plastic up like so and twisting the wires together. Okay, and now when they're thoroughly twisted together, I am going to put a drop of solder on them so that they stay twisted together. So before I try soldering over any foam planes, I made a pad out of damp paper towel and I put it under where I'm working. So if some solder drops, it's going to drop onto that damp paper towel instead of the plane. And we heat the little wires up a little bit with the tip and melt some solder on. And there you have it, the three hookups at three different locations along the wire so as to not make one big lump. And since they're in three different places, you don't even need to cover them, but I like to put hot glue on them so as to make a nice, neat little package. I just squeeze a little blob of hot glue on there, which also insulates the wire. So I've actually squeezed the hot glue onto the bare wire, right? And then wait for it to cool off a second and then squish it all together like this and the hot glue will glue itself down and make a nice little package like that. There it is. Ta-da! Done! So there it is, Dyna Mustang repaired. Of course we had our crash proofing so we didn't need to do anything to the foam. We had to repair that servo because when it did crash Ooh, oh. that servo got slammed out of the wing and into the cement and broke it. So uh the servo broke, but not the rest of the plane. We have a dog who'd like to go fly a plane, I think. So, Steve from Killer Plane, see you on the fly line.